I want to do both for and against. So can I do it at the same time, or I have to sure. come back and come back up? Terry Pope Gonzalez, founder of South Salt Creek Area Neighborhood Association. We are not a 50C3 PPP, whatever nonprofit. Yeah. Somebody's yeah. got to pay the taxes. Now I want to agree. Oh, sure, he's a 5013 CPP, whatever. You got to have that liquor license to make some money. You've got to, because isn't that how it works? So you can be tax exempt, okay? But have you ever seen a two-year-old Billy up to the bar? It's a children's zoo. When I get, got here, it was called Folsom Children's Zoo. And I used to give the zoo and the children's museum gift cards to the people. I worked for the telephone company. That's how you and I sat on boards together. I just didn't look like this. I hadn't been contaminated yet. See, I have environmental exposure. Doctors, did you not check the lawsuits? 2010 is 2020. So now, yes, we need to give him the liquor license. Yes, we do. But let's make sure we bone up on the insurance because nobody does anything until the wrongful death lawsuits happen. Okay? And you know the DUIs, especially if it's, let's see, hmm, after hours, right? How many times downtown did the bars close and after hours happens? And he's going to guarantee it doesn't happen at the zoo, right? Really? He's only one guy. He going to be over all those people? Like I said, you ever seen a two-year-old belly up to the bar? It is what it is. This is Lincoln, Nebraska. You have three-year-olds knowing what oral copulation means. You have three-year-olds knowing how to pour a drink. You have daycares doing what? Child pornography? So hey, let's have another place where another drunk. Now the little ladies that I deal with, Here's what they told me. They told me the reason that the city council balanced the budget is because all of you gave up your wages. And I told them I didn't think so. Maybe the men, like I said, when I say these people, today I'm these people. You know, the poor people, the working class, the property owners that are really sick and tired of everything. Okay? Did you get your COVID money? Because I'm working with, what, distressed veterans, veterans in distress. COVID money came in May. We still don't have it for them. But hey, let's make sure that we get a liquor license to the zoo, okay? Like I said, when's the last time you saw a two-year-old belly up to the bar? Now you guys are gonna do whatever you're gonna do. And it's not gonna be about, you know what this is? This is income discrimination, okay? Because see, if I'd have had Jane Raybould's income, you'd have never allowed this to happen. What have you, Jane Raybould? Aren't you the name? Hmm? So now listen, if I need to apologize to you, love, I can't even see you. I know more about you people's crotch than I need to know, okay? I don't want to know what you do with your crotch. If I elect you, I want you to do the job, and I want you to do it for everybody, every color, every person, every initial. And, you, and young lady, I can't even see you, okay? Are you? But I know. You know what it cost me to get your tan? I'm so jealous of your tan, I can't see straight. And you see this honky fine hair? I can't have a braid. Okay, so listen, I've never been so discriminated in my entire life until I got to Lincoln, Nebraska, and I got Gonzalez as a last name. Now, Martin Gonzalez graduated Lincoln High. In 1971, and he's a veteran in distress. So let's vote for another liquor license. Let's get another drunk. Maybe we can build another bridge over there and make another drunk tank here in Lincoln, Nebraska. Like I said, how many times you've seen a two-year-old belly up to the bar? I'm dealing with three-year-olds that know what oral copulation means. But hey, let's give them their liquor license. Please do, okay? Thank you. Would anyone else like to come forward to speak on this item? 